Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And uh, today we're going to be talking about death and grief. This is something that we all have experienced. We all have lost people who we are close to and we love and have experienced uh, grief. The interesting part to me is that death is a very natural phenomena and um, we see it in the nature as the seasons change. Um, but somehow in our training and upbringing in the society, we view death as a bad thing. And in a lot of different cultures, uh, we wear black, we mourn when we lose somebody. And I feel like we were not educated when it comes to dying. Number one, what happens after you die? And, uh, and what makes us think that it's a bad thing? And, and it, there is this general idea that, uh, first of all, most people don't want to talk about it. When you bring it up, they change the subject, they get very uncomfortable. Um, especially, um, I've noticed a little bit with, sort of with older people that they're around, I'm around them. They want to avoid the subject and um, act like as if this is not going to happen. Uh, I can, I saw it with my own, I see it with my own family and um, basically the general mentality is that it's not being embraced and which I believe if we educate ourselves and it's it's a conditioning basically that death is a very bad thing or death is the end and as if you're gonna go into this void and you're you're not here anymore or you're not functioning anymore there's no awareness anymore and you disappear forever something like that or something bad very bad is gonna happen to you well I don't know of anybody who died and came back six months after somebody died they buried them and then six months after they came back and tell me what is going on on the other side. We have met people who had near-death experiences and a lot of people say that they went through a tunnel of light but uh, and somehow they came back but we don't know of anybody who died and got buried and came back a year after so we don't know what's going on on the other side and however watching observing the cycle of life everything has a cycle and you can easily see it especially right now that we're approaching autumn and slowly you can see the leaves are turning color they're going from green to yellow and red and uh, the weather starts to change uh, Slowly, slowly, the weather starts getting colder. Everything's going in, inwards, and uh, there's a shift happening. And and then so from autumn it goes to winter, and it's completely shut down, and it's all internal. And then it comes to spring, and everything starts opening up. So, if anyone's done any kind of farming they're very familiar with the cycle of the seasons and and 
there is a process of birth and death is, which is absolutely in this dimension is a necessity so why is it we're so afraid of dying what what is it that we feel entitled that maybe we should be living forever? I mean, I don't want to be living forever. If they come and grant me another 100 or 200 years, I don't think if I want to do it. Um, especially as the body gets older and starts malfunctioning and there's all kinds of health issues. And you're not flexible anymore. You can't do the things you wanted to do. So... I, I don't think I want to do that. I mean, even if I make it to 100, I feel like that's enough for me. So, part of me is, feels like, okay, I want to move on. I want to go on and see what's going on next, what's out there. And if I would be going to a different dimension or we'll go to another planet or whatever is the story, I'm very open to it. In a way, it kind of feels like um, you're traveling through different countries. Uh, you catch a flight, you go to Paris, you're in Paris. From Paris, you go to uh, Morocco. Um, from there, maybe you go to Tahiti. And from there, you may go to Amsterdam. I don't know. You're just going from one place to another. So it's exciting to uh, explore different places, different cultures, different looks, different people, different food, uh, weather, um, all of it. And that's how I view death. Uh, I, find, I find it exciting. The last time I had a near-death experience, um, honestly, I mean, you know, it may weird out some people because I can never tell this to my family. They would not understand it. But uh, I very strongly felt that the life force was leaving my body. And I called a lot of my friends. So they came over visiting me. Uh, I had a closet f full of interesting clothing and uh, any friend who came to visit me I, I didn't tell them I'm dying I just told them look go into my closet and pick up anything you like whether you want a jacket or pants or shirt or anything and they were wondering why I was doing it but I very much believed that that was my last night and uh, that evening that afternoon evening was the last evening I was gonna have and uh, after different friends came and visited me and left I uh, was hanging out in my bedroom lying down on the bed and there was this very deep silence with a sort of a it wasn't a golden light but it was some kind of light it, I can the only way I can explain it, I can say it was a golden light, but it wasn't really gold, but it was something in between, bright and gold, started to appear and fill up the room. But the silence that took over, this really deep uh, stillness of quiet and inner peace and uh, maybe I can say love or acceptance began to fill up the room and I can't explain how beautiful it was I can't explain how amazing it was and I'm just hanging out there and I'm just feeling this and it was like oh my god I dig this I'm ready for this. This is amazing. I want this. 